Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to um, a very positive video I have um, concluded I was going to make today. I've been thinking about it since uh, a couple days ago. Um, I But ever since those couple of days, I've just gotten more and more content to say in this video, so... Yeah, I'm making it today because I've officially stopped gathering information that I need for this video now. Um, so yeah, welcome to my very positive video about capture cards. Uh, so, me and my friend Nate, we both have a good computer, well he has a really good computer, but he doesn't really need a capture card, but we're both trying to get capture cards, right? And he's going to go for the one called the Apog, which is stationary and would be good for him because he has a desktop. Uh, me, I, I have a mobile setup because I have two houses, so I have a, I have a laptop and then blah 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 blah, you know, so I need more something more noble, Mo mobile. So. Uh, what better than the Elgato because it's already really good by itself and it's mobile so I ordered it um, and I was really excited for it you know I got I got it from Amazon I was like shit yeah got my freaking Elgato uh, and I opened it up and it was really easy to set up you know like the software downloaded in like 40 minutes you know it was, it was pretty easy um, you know but it it was the whole thing, just everything was horrible about this, except for, you know, the easy, you know, 40 minute setup. Um, I would plug in the HDMI to my computer and it would blink on and off like it wouldn't connect into my computer, which I guess isn't the, the, the device's fault, it's my computer's fault, but still is shitty because that thing would keep coming off and so in my recording it would be like black for like two seconds and then it would show again it would be black for like two seconds. The reason that I've been uploading lost because I've been trying to figure out this freaking Elgato stuff and I've been putting off recording so I could try to figure out how to record better. But it's not working. Um, the software crashes like shit. Like I'm not joking, it crashes every 10 seconds. No, that's an over-exaggeration, but it does crash a lot. Not when you're recording, thank God, but when you're, like, rendering a video? Hmm, yeah, it crashes. Um, and it, the video files it creates are, like, 10... If you record, like, a 40-minute video, literally the MP4 videos it makes are 10 gigs. That's, like, way bigger than it needs to be. It's so ridiculous. And so when you're finished recording with the Elgato, it automatically starts a render of a 420 MP4, 420p mp4 video and so obviously that's not what I want and so I have to go through the process of canceling that render which crashes the program then I reopen it back up and then I go to my thing and then I render it at 1080p which takes two hours so then I have to wait two hours um, for just this 40 minute session, you know, to get like four episodes out on like my Minecraft series or something like that. Um, oh yeah, but then I realize as I'm rendering that it didn't capture the sound or the system audio. Well, that's bullshit. Why doesn't, why don't they make sound cards that capture system audio? That's stupid. So I have to go through the process of trying to figure out how to get a uh, program that captures the system audio in the, in the computer. And I'm trying to figure out, you know, audacity and shit, but that's just horrible. It was a horrible experience, audacity was. And it, I couldn't get it to work because of the stereo mix and my computer's all fucked up. And so, of course, that doesn't work. So I'm, I go back to using, you know, Camtasia Studio for um, just recording the, so the audio. And so I try to, you know, mix them both up. And that actually, that um, Wolfenstein video that I put out recently uh, is what... I had set up, which was um, the audio from the Camtasia Studio and the video recording and my voice from the Elgato, which is really painful to, to try to do because the huge files that this thing creates, I try to upload it into the my editing software in Camtasia Studio because the editing software in Elgato is fucking shit. I try to upload it into it and it crashes the, It crashes um, my program, Camtasia Studio, because it's so fucking big and it's so painful for the stu program that it just dies and dies whenever I try to open it into it. It's just the worst shit ever. 
um, like I, I literally, I tried to, I was like, okay, maybe I can take a step back in the, in the timeline and try to put it into Windows Movie Maker. Nope, Windows Movie Maker crashed quicker. And then I went through the process of getting Vegas Pro, Sony Vegas Pro, you know, that, you know, like super expensive, um, high quality editing software. I put it in that and it crashed. Oh God, this is just the shittiest experience of my life. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm going back to uh, Camtasia Studio, bitches. Fuck me.